about the sound of those rustling leaves right there on the mountain top where Lord Shiva is supposed to reside. But this program is not about anything religious, so we're not going to talk about gods and goddesses. We're going to talk about the divinity inside of us. Actually, I'm only just going to touch on it. Welcome to Yoga Express. It's all about moving the body to still the mind. My name is Banu Suresh. I have been and still am the host for this program. Over the last 652 episodes, we are in 653 today. Unbelievable. I'm so happy to say that we're still airing, and I think I believe this is our 32nd season. So each season is 13 weeks. So as you know, we were a daily show for some time, and now we're back to being a weekly. And I love it. I love it because every time I stretch right here, I get to invite special guest teachers on the program who share with us different teaching techniques, different practice techniques from their own experience. Today, as you can see, it's just me, my shadow, my team. And when I talk about my team, I'd like to acknowledge them while I'm still on that topic. I'd like to say thank you so much. Brian, Akram, Miguel, thanks so much for being there for me today. Today's episode will also eventually find its way onto my website, yogaexpress.com, Y-O-G-A-X-P-R-E-S-S.com. Check it out. Right now, we don't have any episodes up there. We're going to break them up into segments. That brings me to the main part of today's episode. The last time we stretched together, I was here with my shadow right here in the studios and we were stretching. My shadow and myself were stretching, but I believe my crew were also stretching in the control room. We were stretching to back bends, forward folds, um, basically targeting different regions of the body. We did some twists. We did a few hamstrings, but not as many as I'd like to demonstrate. So we're going to pick up on whatever we left out the last time. We're actually going to do a few more forward folds which would actually stretch your hamstrings so before we move on into today's episode I want you to understand your body first so I'm going to come up just a little bit the cameras are going to move back to make sure that we don't get cut off because I'm going to touch on each part of the body so just understand that the yoga stretching that I share with you on this program is actually a very uh, it's a simple stretch sequence that I put together which has helped me over the last 17 years and I want to share it with you. There are some common denominator postures on this postcard right here which I like to call 48 plus. It's now begun to be called Yoga Express sequence and it starts from standing seated prone supine. Once again go to the website you'll see exactly how it's structured. So when you're targeting different regions of the body, you want to understand there are chest openers. You just open up your chest, which will open up your air pipes. That'll help you breathe better. And just to be very careful, I don't touch on the medical aspect, but if you're asthmatic, you know that asthma patients, especially when you have an attack, your chest muscles start to constrict. So if you have an anxiety attack, even when you're nervous or scared, chest muscles tighten up. So we start to hunch hunch over. So you want to open it up, make sure that your chest muscles expand, your pipes expand. So today we're going to start with chest openers and then we'll move over to full forward folds where you'll stretch the hamstrings in the back of your legs. And for this I'm actually going to stand up. The hamstrings start from the base of your spine, divide down the back of your legs all the way down. So unless you understand the different regions of the body, you won't know how to stretch them safely. And that's what it's all about, stretching safely. Now the first segment, the first eight or nine minutes is going to focus on the body itself. So the other segment I have planned for you is knee benders. So there are lots of postures in yoga that help you bend and unbend the knees. And that helps, especially if you're arthritic and arthritis of the knees can be quite painful. I should know because as we age, that is the first weight bearing joint that gets impacted because the whole body rests on the knees and the ankles. So you have knee bending postures. You have the Utkadasan, which we will do in a moment together, but you have knee bending. You have the Virabhadra, the brave warrior, where you bend to the side. Now there are plenty of postures. You have moments where you bend 
the back of the leg, you bend the knee going backwards, you hold the leg from behind, you also have seated knee bends. So let's start with a few chest openers. Now depending on how deep you want your opening to be, and just remember, every the muscles that you move, for instance, when you stretch your biceps, you are strengthening your triceps. You stretch your triceps, you're strengthening your biceps. So whichever part of your body you actually stretch, you are impacting a different part. You're strengthening another part of the body as well. So don't feel disillusioned if you cannot get the most out of your stretch on any given day. You just have to keep trying. It's about retraining neglected muscle groups. So let's try a few chest openers because we are almost at the end of the first segment. So I want you to experience some of those. The other things we'll be also touching on since I did promise the different regions. You will touch on twists. Twists are very important, especially if you're diabetic, for example. You can activate your pancreas. You can actually energize your pancreas, the insides, the glands and organs inside of you. And just remember, most of the glands and organs are situated between the hip and the shoulders. You have a few glands out here, pituitary and pineal. But you want to make sure we never really give ourselves enough of an opportunity to massage your glands on organs right here in the middle. So when you're doing your twist, every time you twist, let's say I twist to the left, you take a deep inhale first, and as you twist, you exhale. Inhale back to the center. And I'm going to do the other side as well so I feel balanced. Inhale back to the center. The reason you feel so energized when you complete a twist, it's like wringing out your clothes. You wring your upper and lower body in opposite directions. So if you move the upper body to the left, the lower body moves to the right. So you wring your body so that the insides, the glands and organs right here in the center of your body, feels a nice little squeeze, a nice little massage. And when you unring yourself, for want of a better word, blood rushes in, fresh oxygen rushes in, and you feel totally energized. So let's try, now that's about four or five regions of the body we have already touched on. So let's try and do some stretches since we are in the next segment now. I'm going to take you through a few chest openers. For some of them, I might be facing you. For others, and the cameras will pick us up in case you need to view me in profile. We're going to do some chest openers. Some postures are very simple. Hasta Uttana. Hasta Uttana, arms raised. So remember, the insides of your feet are parallel. Palms are pressed in front of your chest. Elbows are up to help you stay in the moment. Close your eyes for just a few seconds. Open your eyes. Inhale. Raise your palms up. And I'm going to show you where the chest opening happens. Right now, this is a nice stretch for my triceps. And it's a, it's a beautiful stretch for the middle part of my torso. But here's where the chest opening happens. I take my elbows back behind my ears. And I keep inhaling. Now notice how my chest opens up a little more and I can always turn to the side regardless of which side I am. You know exact, you'll know exactly how to do this posture with me. And now I'm going to tilt back just a little bit to open up my chest a little more but I'm also getting a back bend. Exhale and dip back. Inhale back to the center. Exhale and release. Arms raised. Hasta Uttana. So when you do a back bend, you want to make sure you do a forward fold. So for this one, I'm probably going to turn to the other side just to make sure that you see from every angle. Now my arms are already up, so now I'm going to fold over. I'm back in the center. I'm going to fold over all the way down so I can feel a beautiful stretch for my hamstrings and the back of my legs from the base of my spine all the way down. Exhale and fold. Pada hasta. Pada is feet, hasta is hands. You're going down all the way. For some of you, maybe your head, your forehead touches your knee. 
Now, that may not happen in the first time. For me, it has not happened in the 1,000th time, but that's okay. I am doing the best I can today. Inhale, come up. Exhale and release. Father has the hands to feet. I already feel energized because I've done a chest opener, a back bend, forward fold, and a hamstring, a hamstring stretch. All collapsed into just two little postures. So you know how, how much yoga stretching can help you. There are other aspects of yoga that are going to be helpful as well. Over the next couple of episodes, I'm going to share some, um, I would like to share some segments, depending on how much time, on some guided meditation. Now, a little more on the chest opening. There is a chest opener that I really like very much, but it can be a little intense, so you want to be very careful. I'm going to bring my feet out. The insides again will be paddle, and I'm going to bring my feet out, and for this one, maybe I'll turn to this side. Bring my feet, bring your feet out about six to eight inches apart. Place the base of your palms just above the buttocks, close to the sacrum, close to the base of the spine. Now this is, notice this also is a bit of a chest opener right here, but we're gonna take it a little deeper. And for that, I may have to quiet down a little bit, which is not really my style. I like to talk you through every posture, but breathing can be a little difficult in this posture. So we're gonna do the best we can, watch and share with me, share this moment with me, inhale. As I exhale, notice how I glide my palms down the back of my thighs. Now, if you want to go deeper, bend your knees. Now, I'm right behind my kneecap. Inhale, come up. Because this is quite an intense back bend, it is a chest opener, but it's also a very intense back bend. I need to counter that with a forward fold. So I'm going to bring my feet apart. And for this, I'll go diagonal. So that keeps me nicely centered right here on the mat. Bring your legs about three to four feet apart. And to get the most out of my body, I'm going to and put your brakes on. So bring your toes in so you don't slip. Inhale, take your palms up. Turn your palms outward as you come to shoulder point. Take it all the way up. Exhale, hinge from the hip. Place your palms wherever you are today, that's fine. You can place your palms maybe on a brick, on a pile of books, a nice big Webster dictionary, whatever you have that gives you height. I'm going to make do with what I have. I have a little principle that I keep saying to myself, make the most of what you have, come to terms with what you don't. So I don't have a brick or a block, and I don't have a super flexible body, but I'm going to give this a shot. Place your palms as flat as you can, maybe a little further back between the feet if today is your good day. Exhale, keep your elbows close, exhale, and dip the crown of your head to as close to the mat as possible. Feel that stretch. Now, to, it's not important to touch the crown of your head to the mat. If you can, good. If not, you should feel a delicious stretch in the back of your legs. The hamstrings get a beautiful stretch. Exhale and dip. Keep your elbows close to you. Press with your palms. Wiggle. Heel toe your feet a little closer. Hands on your hips. Inhale, come up. Pause at midpoint. Inhale fully, come up all the way. Prasarita Padotan. Prasarita, widespread. Padotan, feet. Prasarita Padotanasa. Now that felt really good. So I got back bend, chest open, I got a forward fold. Maybe I should just combine a few more of those forward folds and back bends. Now, I have a few more forward folds before we go into seated position, so I'd like you to try that with me. Inhale, take your arms up. So turn your palms out all the way over. Cross your palms over. We're going to fold over into what's called Uttanasana. Now, you, this can be simply, if you close your eyes, it can be a very calming, relaxing, balanced position. Insides of your feet are parallel, or you could make this into a nice chest opener and a bit of a back bend 
Wiggle by wiggling your triceps behind your ears. Lift your chin up, inhale, tip back a little bit. As you go back deeper, you exhale, then inhale back to the center. Exhale, fold all the way forward, Uttanasana, standing forward fold. Now this is very similar to the other one we talked about, the Pada Hasta, hands to feet. But in this one, you're going to basically suspend your upper body in midair, but you still keep that connection. So hold on. A couple of breaths here at home. Inhale, let's come up. Exhale and release. One of these days, and I've been promising myself as much as I've been promising you, I will teach you how to keep transitioning. Maybe in the next episode we might do. You just transition from one posture to the other. We're going to do another wonderful, wonderful stretch for the hamstrings, and it's New York's favorite posture. It's called Downward Facing Dog. Adho Mukha Shwanasana. Insides of your feet are parallel. Turn your palms out. Inhale. Take your palms all the way over. Exhale. Hinge from the hip. Adho is down or downward. Mukha, face or facing. Shwana is dog. Adho Mukha Shwana Asana is posture. Exhale. Into the Padahasa and slowly walk your hands forward. Take your feet back. And this time you're going to see me in profile. I'm going to demonstrate the best way I can so you see exactly where you'll be when you're down here. So notice, I'm going to exhale and push my heels down. I'm currently taking a lot of the weight on my wrist, at the base of my wrist. So now I'm going to move the weight more to the forward, the front part of my palm. You may not see that, but I feel it. When I do that, my head dips forward. So if I'm able to dip my head forward between the biceps, that means I'm taking more weight in the front of the palm. Notice my feet are hip width apart. You really need to do that. I feel that beautiful stretch in the back of my legs right here in my hamstrings. I feel a lovely stretch in my spine and I can feel a nice dip of my shoulder blades as well. Adho Mukha Shwanasana. And in this posture, I always love to do a particular breathing technique called Simhasana. I love that because it's so energizing, but it's also very stress releasing. So stick your tongue out with a loud <coughs> And you know, those of you, including my crew, I'm going to come down very gently, one knee at a time, including my crew. If you're ever stressed out, try this. It's a great stress releasing technique. Just go in front of your vanity in the bathroom. You don't want to scare anyone. You don't want to do it on the train. Just go in front of the mirror. Stick your tongue out all the way. <coughs> Relieves a lot of stress. Anytime you're angry or upset with someone, don't act upon those negative emotions. Just release everything. Stick your tongue out. Breathe. It's an exhale technique. Come on, guys. You know that better than I do. You can exhale in different ways. There are lots of breathing techniques that you can use. All we do on this program is just share it with you and remind you. Now we're going to do a few seated back bends. There's one called a camel, which I do like. Sounds like we might have about another eight to nine minutes for this episode. Uh, Camel is a pretty, yes, that's good. I think we do have eight minutes that my crew has confirmed that. Thank you. Camel is a little bit of a back bend, but more than a back bend, because you have the support of your knees, it's more of a chest opener. So once again, we're gonna, I'm going to come up on my knees. <coughs> now notice, my aim is to reach my right heel with my right hand, left heel with the left hand. At the same time, if I can bring my shoulder blades close enough, it'll open up my chest. So I did promise at the beginning of this episode, we're going to talk about chest openers and forward fold. So after we finish the camel, we'll do a forward fold to balance that. So notice my knees are about hip width apart. You can bring them closer for a deeper quad stretch. So that's something else we may touch in the next episode. Let's talk about the different muscle groups. Actually, that would be very interesting and very important for you as well. So if I curl my toes in, pure physics, mathematical, 
the distance is closer to my heels, but there's more pressure on my knees. So I'm going to keep my toes uncurled. The distance may be further, a little more effort on my part, but no pain, or at least much less pain. So the idea is not to be in pain. The idea is to help your body stretch in whatever manner that feels comfortable and delicious for you. So I'm going to place the palm, heel of my palms at the base of my spine on either side, just above my buttocks. My feet, tops of my feet are flat. Inhale, bring the chin up. Now, up until now, my chest has not opened up too much. Now, I'm going to try and tip my shoulder blades back. That opens up my chest. Once my chest is open, I can tilt back. Once my head is back, very gently glide the palms down the back of your thighs. Slowly reach for the right heel with the right hand, left heel with the left hand, and notice how my body has gone at an angle. Once you've made that correction, connection, make your correction. Bring your pelvis forward. So you want to look like a camel. Hold it. It's hard to speak while I'm in this posture, but just want you to know. Take about two or three breaths. Now in the interest of time, I'm just doing one breath. Inhale, come up one palm at a time. And then before you bring your head fully straight, you want to first settle down. And we're going to do a nice forward fold. This one doesn't give you a hamstring stretch, but I just need to do that to counter the back bend. Let's come up. <coughs> there are two other postures which I really enjoy doing because I, I don't know why. It just feels so good. Sit. Uh, let me sit with the, facing this side. Extend your right leg all the way out. Flex your right foot. Attach the sole of the left foot. This is a great hamstring stretch for the back of the extended leg. It's also a good knee bender for the leg that is folded in. So you get a multi-workout every time you stretch in yoga. Attach the sole of the left foot to the inside of the upper right thigh. Inhale the arms up to shoulder height. Turn your palms out. Keep inhaling all the way up. Exhale, hinge from the hip. Now, if you are, if your fingers are somewhere near your toes, grab hold of your toes. You want to hold your ankles, that's fine. Shin, knees, wherever you are is perfectly okay today. You just want to make sure you keep that connection with your body. Exhale, Janu, Sirsha, head to knee. Janu is knee, Sirsha is head. The aim, you need a blueprint in life, as I've always mentioned. The aim is to get your forehead to your knee. But in this particular episode and this particular program, we just encourage you to do the best you can. So today, my head may not touch my knee, but I'm doing the best I can. I feel a beautiful stretch in the back of my right leg. Inhale as you come up. And when you're in this position, it's okay to press on the knee as well because there's nothing that, that's going to take your knee back. So you're not going to hurt yourself. Extend the left leg out. Pull the right leg in. We have about four minutes for this episode. So we're going to keep going till we can get as many hamstring stretches and chest openers as we can. Inhale the arms all the way up. Janu Sirsha. Exhale. Hinge from the hip. Notice how I'm leading with my chest, and once I've made that connection, I drop my forehead down. Don't go down all the way because that will round your back. You don't want to curve your back. You want to keep your back straight. Also, it makes sense because you go further and deeper if your back is upright as you go down, and then you fold, you bring your forehead down. Inhale, come up. Keep your arms where they are from Janu Sirsha Paschimottanasana. Extend both the legs out. Paschim is where? East facing. Yes, east. Paschim is east. Paschimottan, east facing. Exhale and fold. I don't know how that name came about. I'm assuming because you would face in the direction of the rising sun when you do these postures. I'm holding on to my big toes with my fingers. That helps me pull my body forward. 
Hashimoto. Some schools translate that as bird beak because it looks like the beak of a bird. So, you know, sometimes we take things to the extreme. We try to make everything have a meaning. Some things in life just don't have a reason or a meaning or a rhyme. You just do it because it feels good. Now, another posture that I do enjoy, since we only have a couple of minutes, I really want to share this one with you. It's called Kapot Asana. Fold your left leg in. And notice how my right knee is already folded outward. Place both palms on either side of the left knee and take your right leg all the way back. Just so I can drag myself back, I'm going to first glide forward so my foot is on the mat. Keep your toes curled in and notice when I was just getting into the position, my left buttock was done. I'm going to come up. Now, even though it doesn't look like this might be a hamstring stretch, I actually do feel if I take my right leg all the way back, I do feel a little bit of a hamstring stretch, but guess on which leg? On my left leg. Because the left leg is bent, but my buttock is off of the floor to stay centered. One more breath. I'm going to switch legs. Bring the right foot forward. Kapot is pigeon. Hold the right foot in, swing the left leg all the way out for that hamstring stretch on the right side. This is also a bit of a chest opener. If you sit up, open up your chest. Then if you want to do a forward fold, just because we are at the end of this episode, I'm going to come down, exhale, and fold. While I'm here in this comfortable, luxurious position, I want to thank my crew, Akram, Miguel, and Brian. Thank you so much for staying with me. Kapoot Asan, Pigeon, you are watching Yoga Express every morning, 7.30 to 8 a.m. Wow, that feels so nice. I feel so lucky to have this great space here to stretch. 7.30 to 8 every Monday morning, Time Warner 56, RCN 83, Fios 34. And very soon I hope to have these episodes in segments on my website as well. So keep an eye out, yogaexpress.com, Y-O-G-A-X-P-R-E-S-S.com. My name is Banu Suresh. You are watching Yoga Express.